Maverick fam, how is it going and how is your mama? Your boy Dion, aka I Maverick, back on the Madden 19, and we are doing an auction block video. All right, now if you are new to this series, you know they call your boy. <laughs> Uh, I don't have any paper, but they call you boy Fresh Loose Leaf, all right? Because I used to do this series back in the day. Uh, Madden 16, maybe Madden 15 and 16, I believe. I started back in Madden 25, honestly. But what I would do is, is I would just show all of the moves that I would make on my team. So you guys always were in the loop. You kept up. You knew what I was thinking while I was doing it. I think it's, and I liked it too, because I'm not big on like following the trends. Like if you look in the comment section, you have a lot of youngsters, a lot of bandwagoners, a lot of hype beasts, and they're like, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. And I've always kind of did my own thing, and I don't always go for the highest overall in a specific position. I know the kind of scheme that I want. I know uh, what works best for me. So there's times, I, like, especially early in the year, I take a gold over an elite, and you know, I, might, I, I may not go with the highest overall, <coughs> or there may be one stat that I focus on, and that's the reason why I may go with the 79 overall versus the 83 overall and so it, it, a lot of people got a lot out of it you know and it helped people so i'm gonna try it again this year we'll see how much <coughs> you guys support it <coughs> but the whole reason i took it away was because it wasn't really getting supported so if it's not getting supported again this year i won't waste my time with it it can be kind of time consuming to just make moves and have to make sure i'm recording to keep you guys in the loop so if you guys don't support it then i'll, I'll probably just move on but i'm gonna give y'all a shot so here's the team uh, i just ended up pulling packs check out the last pack opening if you haven't and what i like to do is i remove everyone from the lineup just because it so right now you guys are gonna see a little bit of a break in between now and the rest of the video because i'm going to uh put some players on the block try and get our coins up a little bit we're at you know 733 i think we can push that a little bit so i'll figure out all my starters and then what i do is is i come down here and i remove everyone else from the lineup everyone that's not starting just so that when i'm going through my my item binder like i know i i, I automatically know who to keep who not to keep hold up i gotta compare these guys besides that throw in the run a little bit of throw power we're gonna keep steve young here get rid of Mr. Andrew Luck. And so yeah. I, I recommend this. It just it just makes it easy. They've really got Zach Ertz as my second wide out. No, nah, that's not that's not the move there. That is not the move at all. So we're gonna put Zach Ertz at number two right there. And then Yep. Rudolph at number three. And then, ooh, so our second receiver should be, that's how you know you need some wideouts when <laughs> you got tight ends, you know, ranking higher at the wide receiver position than your wide receivers. All right, Zach Ertz at four, I'm okay with. All right, bet. So we're gonna rock with that. And then we're gonna go to the defense and do the exact same thing. Just remove everyone from the lineup that we know we aren't gonna use. All right, we are done. Everyone is removed. We, yeah, we'll worry about that later. And uh, now it's time to put some people on the block. And so now when you just scroll down in your overall, you can see where like people, they don't have a little green lineup thing on them. So you just know they're not a part of what you're doing. That's crazy, Janoris fell that low. I got that many cornerbacks. Wow, yeah. I'm a, uh... That's crazy. Yeah, all right, that's cool. I'm gonna sell them. Now I used to call myself Fresh Loose Leaf because Madden didn't have this ability to just check the price on the auction block and we didn't have all the features we have in Mutthead now so I would I would write down cards and then I would go look up what they were going for on the auction block and then I would write all of them down and then come back and sell them and so now with this I don't have to be fresh loose leaf but we're gonna still keep the name because it's dope 
all right y'all so we are looking good we have officially hit one million coins so this should be fun now this is what we're looking like i'm pretty confident pretty not all the way confident but i'm pretty confident i want to start with my is he at 87 overall oh, i said 81 okay i'm pretty sure i want to start with my linebackers okay so we'll probably get three to four new linebackers i'm in a weird place all right the game just came out i don't know if i want to run a three four or four three um, but I do know for some of the heat that I will be sending, I need some athletic, you know, speedy guys that are going to get to the quarterback. And then, you know, I look at things like zone coverage. You're not going to be in man too much. Like if you're in, if you're in a three wide out, four wide out, I feel confident playing a zone against you with linebackers. I'm really not going to man them up. So I don't really look at man rating too much. Um, and usually if I do man up, it might be like someone out the backfield or something, something simple, but let's uh and i don't even know i may not even this is a new year i may not even run a lot of three four four three maybe i'm in nickel you know the nickel big g or dollar or something so we're still figuring things out so we may take the team a certain direction and end up u-turning very quickly but uh that's the, that's that's the beauty of a new game so let's switch on over to a mutthead mutthead.com i use them a lot this is how i'm able to look up stats on players and it's good to know like it's good to just especially at the beginning of the year just get around and i like to filter things so i'll filter like i think the first one that always makes the most sense is just speed right so you filter speed it shows you who are the fastest cards in the game and as you do this you know what high speed looks like so when you're pulling packs and you pull someone you're like okay this is a fast card because i just know what the fastest guys in the game look like and then you can go by of course by position is different so these are the fastest people in the game are like the wide receivers the halfbacks the cornerbacks and then you know if i want to know like what's fast for a linebacker you know i might put middle linebacker filter and i'm like all right cool 84s like above 80 is like considered fast at this point in the game i'm cool with that all right and then you know you can do the same thing for like zone coverage just all the stuff that helps you get a good base of where the game is at but yeah we're not gonna mess with that too actually we will we'll keep that here middle linebacker because we want us a fast linebacker and so uh Deion jones is about as fast as I'm gonna get from the auction block, I could get a a, a, a rookie. I'm not really into that though. <laughs> so we're probably gonna go with Dion Jones, 82. But then I'll also come in and I'll do like zone, cause I, I don't want I don't need him to be the best zone defender. I want him to be, you know, probably like on this first little scroll, like this first page, I'll be good. But if his zone is horrible, then I probably can't rock with him. Uh, bam. So he is almost the top oh no this is a nope i need this one okay so he's up there as far as zone is concerned and his speed is up there now what i'll also do while i'm looking at these high zones i'll kind of just peep peep their speed real quick so trevathan has 76 speed i kind of want at least 80 i would say he's a, he's legitimately kind of slow uh at 76 and so luke keekley Coralie, 79 is pushing it but I get 81 zone, 90 tackle, 89 hit power. Like, that makes me kind of consider possibly picking him up. Uh, so I'm not going to get as much hit power. But I'm getting more speed. Uh, the same... The same zone. I keep jumping back and forth to the wrong one. Okay, and for the price... I think Deion Jones is, is perfect. So we're gonna pick him up for our middle linebacker. And we're gonna rinse and repeat. We're gonna go, you know, left outside linebacker, get an idea. Okay. So Nigel's got 81 zone. That's what's high. I'm pretty sure I'm in the bone with Miles Jack. He's usually up there for like zone coverage. And he's usually up there for speed too. Bradham's actually only one slower. Oh get more block shed with bradham ted hendrix is 78 mm -mm. okay so let's do this let's do let's do speed Ooh, so 81 is like like the top 10 I mean, 82 is the, the fastest but those are gold so i'm pretty sure we're gonna go miles jack here so we'll go left out line uh deon jones middle left outside linebacker miles jack 
uh, right outside linebacker. Not surprised by Griffin being up here, 84. Ooh, oh, I want Telvin, but he's a uh, he's not auctionable. Okay, okay. Derek Brooks, 90 overall, gets his 82 speed. Let's see the zone coverage. Please be up there. Bam. Number one in zone. Okay, so we're gonna splurge a little bit on Derek Brooks. Then we'll get Deion Jones and who'd I say? Was it Telvin Smith, I think? Or was it Miles Jack? I forgot who it was. I think it was Miles Jack. All right, let's get it. Man, I wish these guys weren't so slow. Like this Diamond Kerrigan and the, the, this Hendrix, like oh, they feel like they'd be so good in the run and and even in pass rushing as far as just getting clean and blitzing and maybe dropping back into coverage, not the move. So we're gonna keep our eye on them. But we're gonna stick with who we, who we initially went with. All right, we looking pretty. Look at them beautiful linebacking. That, that linebacking core looking awesome. I'm going to leave Zach Brown in because his speed isn't bad. And I don't know if I'm going to use him yet. So at 81 speed, he works. He gets the job done. I mean, zone coverage is a little trash. But I don't know if I'm running 4-3 or 3-4 yet. So instead of spending a lot of coins, I think we're going to leave it there. I don't even know that I'm... I don't know that I'm going to spend the rest of them. I don't want to just spend them to spend them. And I don't have enough games yet. Like, I need to just play more. I need more reps to see where we're weak. Are we struggling to get pressure? Are our cornerbacks getting beat? You know, do we need better receivers, actually? Actually. Yeah, I don't know. Do we need better receivers? I'm going to just leave it how it is for right now. I feel like we made a nice upgrade. Uh, could we do more? Of course. But should we? And do we know? Like, I don't want to... I don't want to upgrade the receivers if the real issue is the line right now. I don't want to upgrade the line if the real issue is the secondary. And so uh, we're going to keep our coins. We're going to keep opening packs. We're going to keep grinding. And we're going to uh, keep labbing, getting our scheme tight. And as, as issues arise, we'll jump back here and make adjustments, man. So, yeah, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for rocking with your boy. If y'all enjoyed the little inside look and the thought process into the auction block uh and the in the scheme build or the team building let me know and uh and if you support this we'll keep it coming but i love you guys you guys are awesome till next time god first god bless